Smile and learn! Hello subscribers! Welcome to this new video on my channel! Today I'm going to show you how we should wash our hands! It seems to be easy, but washing our hands frequently is very important because we avoid infecting others and ourselves with microorganisms like viruses or bacteria. You already know how to do this! Let's see if you really do! What is the minimum amount of time you should take to wash your hands to eliminate microorganisms? Well done! We should wash our hands for at least 30 seconds to eliminate microorganisms. Here comes another challenge. Do you know when you should wash your hands? When you get home, before and after meals, before and after cooking, after using the bathroom, or after touching animals. All of them are correct! I got you! Hehehe! <laughs> but, do you know what is the right way to wash our hands? There are 10 steps. Do you know them? Wait, I'll go get the video camera and I'll meet you in the bathroom. As I was saying, there are 10 steps for washing your hands. Pay attention! Dad, can you hold the camera for me? Step 1. Wet your hands and apply soap. Step 2. Rub your palms together. Step 3. Rub the back of your hands with your palms. First the right one, and then the left one. Step 4. Interlock your fingers and rub your hands well. Step 5. Cup your fingers and rub your cupped palm with the opposite hand. Then swap. Step 6. Enclose your left hand with your right thumb and rub well. Then swap. Step 7. Rub the tip of your fingers over your left palm and then swap. This way, we clean away dirt that may have been left under your fingernails. Step 8. Rub around your wrist with the opposite hand. Then swap. Step 9. Rinse soap off your hands. Step 10. The last one. Dry your hands with a clean, dry towel. Now our hands are clean! Watch it. Oh, one last piece of advice. Don't cover your mouth with your hand when you cough or sneeze. You could contaminate every object you touched. What you should do instead is sneeze into your elbow. Watch it. Like this. I think I'm getting a cold. See you around, subscribers! Watchy. Hello, subscribers! Welcome to a new video on my channel. The other day, we learned how we should wash our hands the right way. Today, we're going to learn more about hygiene habits. The first thing you should know about personal hygiene is... Hello? Basketball game? Right now? I was recording a video for my channel, but it's okay. I'll carry on with it later. See you on the court in five minutes. Subscribers, I forgot I had a basketball game. I'll be back later. I'm back! We won! As I was saying, hygiene habits are those routines we follow to look after our body and keep it clean. This way, we make sure we stay healthy. One of the most important habits is to shower at least once a day, especially after doing sports. I sweat quite a lot during the game, and I'm going to have a good shower. Now we should toss the dirty clothes in the hamper. Three point shot! Let's start washing our hair. We squeeze out some shampoo onto our palm and foam it up. After a few seconds, we rinse. 
Then we wash our body. It's best to apply a small amount of shower gel on the sponge and rub all over our body. Meanwhile, we should turn off the tap to save water. When we finish, we turn on the tap and wash off the soap. I feel great after a shower. Now we should dry off with a clean, dry towel. I'll see you in a bit to keep talking about personal hygiene. Now I'm ready. I'm wearing clean clothes and I dried and combed my hair. Much better, right? Another hygiene habit is to keep your fingernails short and clean. You should cut them if they're long using some scissors or a nail cutter. It's no good biting them. It's dinner time! They're calling me for dinner. I'll wash my hands well before sitting at the table. Learn how to do this watching the video hand washing on my channel. I'll be right back. Another hygiene habit is brushing your teeth after every meal. Brushing your teeth is an important part of your dental care routine and helps to prevent gum disease. The last hygiene habit we're going to talk about today is washing our face. Before going to bed, we should wash our face. Oh, and in the morning, when we wake up, we should repeat this hygiene habit. I'm on it! What a day, subscribers! Want to recap the hygiene habits? It's important to shower once a day, especially after doing sports. After showering, we'll wear clean clothes and comb our hair. We should keep our fingernails short and clean. Before eating, we should wash our hands. After every meal, we should brush our teeth. And before going to bed, and after waking up in the morning, we should wash our face. That's all, subscribers! <sighs> See you in the next video! Hello subscribers! Today I'm going to tell you about a routine you should follow after every meal to prevent cavities. Do you know which hygiene habit I'm talking about? I'm going to show you how to brush your teeth. It sounds easy, but a proper brushing technique will help you prevent microorganisms like bacteria from causing mouth problems. Are you brushing your teeth the right way? Here's a challenge for you. How long should you brush your teeth for to get them clean enough? We should brush our teeth for at least two minutes to eliminate remnants of food completely. Do you know the steps to brushing your teeth correctly? You don't? I'll show you! I'm here in the bathroom to tell you about the steps you need to follow. Pay attention, we're ready to start. Step 1. Use a bit of toothpaste. Not much, a pea-sized amount will do. Step 2. Start brushing your back teeth and molars. Brush the outside of your upper and lower teeth. Hold the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle. Movements should be gentle and short. Brushing the teeth from top to bottom and from bottom to top. You could also move the toothbrush in small circular motions. Step 3. Brush the inside of your upper and lower teeth. Remember to reach and clean back molars too. Step 4. Brush the chewing surfaces with back and forth motions. Step 5. Now you should clean the rest of your mouth. Brush gently inside of your cheeks and your tongue. Step 6. Spit out any excess toothpaste and rinse. One more thing, you can use dental floss to remove food remnants from between the teeth. You can use a fluoride mouth rinse to complete your oral care routine. Having a balanced diet 
and avoiding too many sweets are two of the best practices to keep your teeth healthy. If the bristles are frayed, switch your old toothbrush for a new one. Look at that bright, shiny smile. What kind of toothbrush do you use? Mine has a biodegradable bamboo stick. This way, I help to look after the environment. Remember that to have a healthy mouth, you need to maintain a good oral hygiene. See you around, subscribers! Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.